Hey there, I'm Bedros Kulian and I'm a fitness marketing expert, which pretty much means I help personal trainers grow their business and take their business to six and multiple six figures. And in fact, I've done that for the last nine years now and I've helped thousands of personal trainers achieve their ideal business career. So what I'd like to teach you is how to start a personal training business. Now there's four specific things you need to look at when you're starting your personal training business. Otherwise, you're pretty much gonna tank it and end up getting a job at a big box gym which, if you ask me, from my experience, when I was working in a box gym, it's not the funnest thing, right? So the very first thing you're gonna focus on is choosing a niche market. This is critical because if you're not happy with the type of people you train, it doesn't matter how much money you make over time, you're really gonna hate what you're doing and you're gonna burn out and, of course, you're gonna tank your business. Now, if you think that you can train all types of people, male and female, eight to 80, I've got bad news for you. You can't do that either because you've got to be a specialist, not a generalist. So you've got to specialize on a niche market that you want to train. Now, the way you're going to do that is you're going to find out who am I most passionate for? In other words, am I most passionate when I'm training stay-at-home moms? Am I most passionate when I'm training uh, business executives? Am I most passionate when I'm training athletes? Am I most passionate about training young, obese children, right? Whoever that passionate market is, that's gonna be your niche market. That's who you're gonna start prospecting and lead generating towards. And you're just gonna completely polarize everybody else. So identify your niche market and laser focus on them and forget about everybody else. That's number one. Number two, you have to offer something that that niche market wants. Well, that's easy enough. You're a fitness professional. You know how to deliver amazing results and probably craft uh, really great nutrition programs. However, the thing you need to figure out is what is my offer going to be? Is it going to be one-on-one -on -one personal training, group personal training, or boot camps? Now, if you're starting from scratch, if I can help you make a decision, that decision would be consider doing boot camps because you're going to have a lot more leverage. And instead of doing one-on-one -on -one where your revenue is always being chased by your payroll because you have to train uh, a lot of clients, which means you have to get a lot of personal trainers if you're doing one-on-one, -on -one, right? Small profit margins in that versus group training or boot camp. Essentially, you have one trainer training 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 people at a time. Now, if you think that's impossible, I challenge you with this, right? Look at the professional NFL teams. They've got one coach working with 15, 20, 30 athletes at a time. And if they could do it with the most elite athletes, you and I can certainly do it with Mr. and Mrs. Jones, who has some weight to lose, who has a core to strengthen, and who obviously wants a better lifestyle. So figure out what your offer is going to be. That's the second thing you're gonna do. Now, the third component, which is really important, is creating systems. Everything you do in your business has to have uh, documentation. So what is your lead generating process? What is your sales and closing process? What is your client intake process? What happens when a client misses a session or two? Right? What happens when a client quits? What is your reactivation process? What is your referral generation process? Now, what I like to do is I like to hire someone off of Craigslist and I say, hey, you've got to have great documentation ability. You've got to be the super assistant. And I want you to look over my shoulder for 30 days and anything I do, I want you to write down and put in a three ring binder and make a process out of it, a system, right? And that becomes your systems manual so that if you ever have to replace yourself, you can by handing a systems manual to an assistant, a manager, a business partner, whoever, right? And of course, nothing happens without marketing. Unless you can get traffic into your fitness boot camp or to your personal training studio, you're really not going to get to use your systems, your offers, and attract a niche. So consider this. Your business relies on lead generation. Everybody in your community is a suspect right now. You've got to find out who the prospects are by making them specific offers to download a free report, to go to a website, to go to a squeeze page, to come to a free seminar, right? So you can identify the prospects from the suspects. Now you're going to get their contact information and put them on an email list and talk to them several times per week by delivering great education, content, adding value to their lives and showcasing your skills and knowledge and of course some of your most successful clients because that is social proof testimonials and as you do that you're going to make them special unique and very irresistible offers and when you do they're going to come in to take advantage of that offer and you're going to use your closing system 
to convert that prospect into a paying client. Now, rather than going on for about two hours about marketing, I want to give you my best marketing strategies absolutely free. These are the same strategies that I give to my high-end coaching clients who own six and multiple six-figure personal training studios. All you have to do is click the link right down below, go to my blog, download the free gift that I have for you, and use those marketing strategies to grow your personal training business and take it to the next level. I'll see you later.